Our goal in this tutorial is to give you a broad understanding of how transistors work. Also, we will not go into the deep details of semiconductor basics or equivalent models. But we will go into transistor operation enough to understand how a transistor can be used as a switch or amplifier. Transistors surround the world of electronics. The presence of these electronic components is used in almost every modern circuit as a critical control component. Sometimes these parts can be seen on electronic boards, but today they are often used in an integrated circuit, IC, and are hidden from our eyes. In this educational video, we explain the most common transistor, the bipolar junction transistor, BJT, and other transistors. The transistor is the most important part in electronics and is used as a switch to amplify or cut off signals. Transistor is one of the solid state devices made of semiconductor materials such as silicon and germanium. A transistor has N and P type junctions in its structure. I and the topic of diodes, you learned how to make semiconductors and connect P and N. Therefore, we refrain from repeating those contents in this video. Types of transistors Transistors are generally divided into two categories, the bipolar junction BJT and the field effect fit. Bipolar junction transistor BJT. Bipolar junction transistors are turned on by an input current applied to the base. BJTs have low input impedance. According to the type of connection and the placement of these bases, they are made in two types, PNP and NPN. PNP is a type of transistor in which an N semiconductor base is placed between two P semiconductor bases. Also, when a P semiconductor base is placed between two N semiconductor bases, an NPN transistor is made. NPN type is one of the most widely used transistors. NPN and PNP transistor symbol Transistors basically have three bases. In BJT, these bases are called collector, base and emitter, and we show them with three letters B, C and E respectively. Structure of transistors Transistors are made by placing three different layers of semiconductor material together. Some of these layers have had extra electrons added to them, a process called doping, and others have had their electrons removed. In fact, these substances are contaminated with holes, absence of electrons. A semiconductor material with an extra electron is called an n-type semiconductor, and a material from which the electron has been removed is called a p-type semiconductor. The letter n at the beginning of the word means negative and is used because of the negative charge of the electron. The reason for using p is that the charge is positive due to the presence of holes. Transistors are made by placing n-semiconductor material on both sides of p-semiconductor or vice versa. The NPN transistor is designed to pass electrons from the emitter to the collector, so the usual direction of current is from the collector to the emitter. The emitter emits electrons to the base. The base controls the number of electrons emitted. Most of the emitted electrons are collected by the collector and then circulate in the circuit. A PNP transistor works in a similar way, but in reverse. In this transistor, the base still controls the current, but the current is in the opposite direction, from the emitter to the collector. This time, instead of electrons, the emitter emits holes that are collected by the collector. A transistor is kind of like an electron valve. The base is like a valve that you can adjust so that more or less electrons flow from the emitter to the collector. We will examine this and now there are three modes in the circuit that we can use as the example of a faucet, and each one has a different effect on the amount of current in the circuit. 1. Open water valve 2. 
Closed water valve 3, adjusted water valve. In the following, we will examine these modes. 1. Short circuit, connected transistor. Like an open water valve. 2. Open circuit, disconnected transistor. Like a closed valve. 3. Making the flow linear. Like when we put the faucet between closed and open as desired. For amplification. Imagine being able to control the flow of the valves of a large dam with a slight turn of the valve. The very small force you use to turn the valve has the ability to create thousands of times more force. Transistors can amplify electrical signals and convert a low power signal into a similar signal with much higher power. Transistor working areas Unlike resistors, whose relationship between voltage and current is linear, transistors are non-linear devices. In fact, transistors have four distinct states or regions of operation that describe the current through them, again. We emphasize that when we talk about current through a transistor, we usually mean the current from the collector to the emitter of an NPN transistor. Field effect transistor, FIT. Field effect transistor, FET. These types of transistors control and determine the shape and size of the channel based on the unipolar voltage. In fact, FET transistors perform the role of voltage control. Field effect transistors have much less energy consumption and heat loss than connected bipolar types. Also, the amount of noise and sound of these transistors and the amount of their input impedance is higher than the types of connected bipolars. Two types of junction field effect transistor and metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor are types of field effect transistors. Also, JFETs are divided into two categories, JFET N-channel and JFET P-channel. MOSFETs are classified into two categories, depletion mode and enhancement mode. 